Collaboration is one of the coolest features of Google Drive and Google Docs. It makes it possible for two or more users to have access to the same file and edit the file simultaneously. It's also possible to publish the file on the web and share a link so other people can access it. Editing is restricted to Google Docs files or other programs within the suite, such as Google Sheets or Google Slides. So, let's take a look at collaboration in Google Drive. Now, one of the coolest features about collaboration in Google Drive is the ability to simultaneously edit a file with other people. And I, I have this uh, screenshot of a collaboration session with uh, my colleague Baldwin. And basically what it does is when two people are working on it at the same time, a cursor will appear for each one of the users. So this kind of red cursor was for Baldwin as he was uh, adding information whereas I was a green cursor when I showed up. And it also it showed my history right here. So that was really convenient. And if I wanted to set up something like that, either simultaneous collaboration or collaboration where anybody can get into the file, uh, collaborate anytime they want to, it doesn't have to be simultaneously, this is how you do it. So here is Google Drive. Uh, I have this Google Docs file called 2016 Priorities uh, slash Shift. And basically, I select that, and then I go up to this icon here, which looks like a silhouette, and it says share this file. I click it, and it will give me the options to do this. Now, what it's going to do is it's going to say enter people's names or email addresses. So if I start typing people's names, it will pull people from my email address book and insert it there. So if I wanted to add uh, Dave here, I'd basically select him. I could add a note saying, hey Dave, here's the file that we are working on. And then I hit send and it would go there. You can add multiple people. So if I wanted to add uh, Lori and other folks, I could just do that. It's really quite convenient for giving them permission to do it. Now, one thing to keep in mind is I'm setting it up so they can edit it. But if I wanted to, I could just make it so they could only view it or they could leave a comment, view it and leave a comment. So they could leave their comments, but they actually can't touch the text. Now, uh, there's more advanced options for collaborating and sharing if I wanted to set it up. Uh, one is that I can open it up to, um, I can share the link. This is only accessible to, to collaborators, but if I wanted to, I could change it so anybody could take a look. Right now, it's specific people. Let's say I wanted to make it public on the web. I'd select that. I'd hit save, and then anybody could access it. So I've just, made this, I just, I've just made this publicly accessible on the web. If people take this link, it's up here, and I'm going to cut it out, I can, pay, I can copy it, I can paste it into an email or do something else. So uh, there's really a lot of options here for collaborating. It's one of the best features of the Google Drive and Docs suite. Now you can also do it from within a document. I'm doing it from from Google Drive here. Let's say I wanted to do it from within the document. Basically open the document and then you would hit the share icon once it appears and you'd have the option to make changes. So right now I've made it so anyone on the internet can do it. If I wanted to uh, switch it to specific people, again select off here and then I'd start entering the names. Colin, I could put him in and then send the invitation and he'd be able to collaborate on it. So that's an overview of collaboration with Google Drive and Google Docs. It's a really useful feature which I describe in more detail in my book about Google Drive and Google Docs.